Hi, today I would like to present you the first part of my printer improvements. I ordered some parts which I would like to add in the next parts. I would like to upgrade my printer a bit, and make the printer more secure against cable fires. And then show you how I add it. This is the first part where I show you what I have ordered. Here we have the whole connectors and cable lugs. To attach to all cable end pieces, so that they have better contact. For example, to safely connect the cables to the power supply. Or directly at the motherboard. I want to show you everything. Then I ordered new cable. These are cables that can also used in vehicles. 2.5 mm diameter. I would like to exchange the feed lines to the heating bed and to the print head. Which new cables that are simply safer. Then I ordered a switch. I'll unpack it. I would like to attach this to the power supply. Also here I would like to work with the cable lugs, there are some that can be pushed on. And do not solder. I hope this fits everything, because I'm not so good at soldering. Then I have a MOSFET. I do not know if you can really see it. I do not want to unpack it now, because that is an anti-static packaging and that is a circuit board. The MOSFET is there to get away the power from the motherboard. Short explanation, at the motherboard is a supply line from the power supply. Once from the power supply and then there are the leads to the heating bed and the print head. This can overload the motherboard and cause a cable fire. Just at these green plugs, where the electricity flow goes through. And the MOSFETs are there to direct the power away from the motherboard. I ordered a second one. This is already set. Because I would like to divert the power from the heating bed and the print head. You need one each. That would be for the heating bed. The other one is just on the road, and I hope this will come the next days. I can then install both at the same time. Then I have these slides, the linear bearings for the heating bed and the print head. In any case, I ordered these new bearings for the poles. I ordered 8 pieces, although only 7 are needed. Then everything moves a lot better. They should run much softer and work more quietly, so the print gets better. I would like to exchange them. Then I have print a bracket for the camera, but it fits not perfectly. This I would like to attach directly to the heating bed, so I can film the printing. This is also a thing I would like to do. Okay, why am I doing this at all? I have always read, it can come to cable fires. Either at the motherboard, because the cable to the heating bed becomes quite hot. And then it can burn at the motherboard or at the plug of the heating bed. I've always thought the problems I did not have, since I only heat to 60 degrees, because I only print PLA. I checked my cable, it was very hot. I have pulled out the heating bed plug and seen that at the side of the minus pole, where black cables goes in, a slight brownish coloration is already visible at the plug. So the plastic is a bit brown. So it could burn soon. That was the reason for me to say, I have to do something. You should perhaps also check it, if you print something and the heating bed is on. Please touch the cable, the power cable to the heating bed, or the green plug at the motherboard, that leads to the heating bed, or also the white plug. Whether these are also really hot. Please also pull the plug out, the green at the motherboard or the white at the heating bed to check whether there is already something melted or brownish discolored. Because it is not good when it comes to cable fires, and you do not have it in sight, or it is generally not great, even if you extinguish fire equally. So be careful, there seems to be problems. That's why I'm doing that here. Yes, that was part one. So show the parts. The next days I will add everything, when the second MOSFET has arrived. Otherwise I would have to start two times. I will document this by video. By placing my printer in this area and try to film it. I have two cameras and I'll think about how I can show you this. I will certainly still encounter problems, but then we look further. Okay, until then and bye. Thank you for watching.